layer one tokens, ADA, ALGO, DOT, SOL, among best performers is capital rotation from stalling BTC lifts, altcoins. And Bitcoin may revisit $40,000 to fill CME price gap. Crypto analyst Willie Ruse speculated native tokens tied to layer one blockchains gained the most Friday, with Cardano being the best performer as steady Bitcoin price fueled capital rotation to altcoins. Uh, Bitcoin bounced between $43,000 and $44,000 during the day, uh, quickly shaking off a minor dip following a stronger U.S. employment report. Uh, then analysts expected to dampen interest rate cut and expectations for next year. The top crypto was recently trading at around $43,800, consolidating as investors digested its swift rally to near $45,000 this week after its breakout from $38,000 a week ago. And all coins, meanwhile, jumped across the board, resembling early November's altcoin rotation when slowing Bitcoin momentum drove traders to realize some gains and invest in smaller, riskier cryptocurrencies. These capital rotations are typical in the crypto markets after large Bitcoin run-ups, followed by a rally in bigger crypto assets than among meme coins and microcaps as traders check tokens that haven't moved yet to profit. Uh, ADA surged 25 to 57 cents at one point during the day, its highest price since August 2022. It gave up some of the early gains later in the game day, but was still up almost 20% today. Other notable top performers were native tokens of Polkadot, Algorand, and Solana, which posted 7%, 11% gains. Uh, the Coindesk Market Index, a basket of almost 200 cryptocurrencies, was up 1.5% through the day, uh, more than BTC underscoring uh, altcoin outperformance. As Bitcoin's momentum stalled, some analysts speculated about a potential pullback to retest lower price levels. Uh, Bitcoin-focused uh, uh, analyst Willy Wu eyed a, a price level between $39,000 to $41,000 based on a price gap on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange Bitcoin futures market, which uh, Bitcoin might fill sometimes on the future. Uh, um, these price gaps occur because the CME futures market uh, unlike native crypto exchanges like Binance um, uh, or Deribit, don't trade around the clock. And there could be a difference between closing and opening prices, depending on Bitcoin's price action when the market is closed. Some analysts reckon that asset prices tend to revisit these levels during a correction filling the gap. Uh, BTC rallied last weekend, surpassing $40,000 when the CME futures market was closed, creating the price gap on the chart. Uh, uh, by my count, 28 out of 30 gaps have been filled on CME daily candles, 93%. Wu posted on X, formerly Twitter. Uh, however, these gaps do not always get filled. For example, PTC hasn't revisited the CME gap at around $20,000 yet. Formed in March during the weekend collapse of silicon white in the region, and, and we're seeing that uh, despite a potential short-term pullback, Bitcoin's outlook is bullish with growing interest among institutional investors. Heine Rashwan, co-founder and CEO of digital asset management firm 21.co, said in a Friday interview with Coindesk TV. Rashwan opined that market observers are underappreciating future inflows into BTC if or once a spot-based exchange-traded fund gets approved in the U.S., which will likely happen according to analysts. Uh, there are a lot of prospective buyers uh, who, for various reasons, wanted to invest in crypto, uh, but has been prohibited to do so because of uh, regulations, he said, noted that 75% of inflows into digital asset funds during the year happened in the past 60 to 90 days. That's not normal, he said, adding that it's a sign of change in sentiment across primarily institutional players. Uh, Rashwan prognosed all-time high prices for Bitcoin, but not in the short term. Uh, I think we will beat the Bitcoin all-time highs sometime in the next 12 to 18 months, he said. We are not fully out of the woods yet, 